bridge in Charleston was, was worse than this. Yeah. Look out there, though. Hold, I don't want you to look, but wow. This is so beautiful. We're almost here. We're like 10 minutes away. We are here. We are here. We made it. I've already cried one time. Well, listen. We are, we are in the, the place. I still gotta get us back then and park. And it is tight, y'all. This is a tight campground, but how stinking cute is this? Okay, first night in Destin was amazing. We went down to the beach last night and we were just completely blown away. It's so cool to see like some of the campsites that are right on the beach like they are parked in the sand and it is just wild you literally walk past them like the the beach access there's a little you know gated walkway yeah and then we i mean walked the, their campsite their camp area was like literally one foot on the other side of that thing so um we got to walk through like their campsites kind of yeah it was cool i think those people too like if you like choose that kind of site you're either you know just taking what you can get or you kind of wanted that yeah you know? pretty sure i read that the sites that are like on the beach do not have hookups so you're kind of boondocking but it's worth it to have that beautiful ocean out of like your back window and your front door so anyway it was amazing we like walked out to the beach and we both just like stopped dead in our tracks and looked at each other and we're like are you about to cry? Are you about to cry? Because it's just so beautiful. It like, takes your breath away. I don't think we've ever seen a beach that looks like that. The water was so clear and like turquoise blue. And it was just the most beautiful thing. So we cannot wait to get back out there today. Last night we went to eat this place called The Back Porch. And we had so many <laughs> recommendations for this restaurant. And it was really, really good. I think the whole gist of it is that it's on the beach and so if you go at sunset like you have the prettiest view with your dinner by the time we got there the sun had already set but the food was really good so we did that last night and then this morning we're gonna go get beignets and coffee so I'm very excited for this and kind of do like a little bit of exploring and then we're gonna get back out to that beach today I need to know like what you're thinking right now this is so cool yeah i mean this is just crazy we just stumbled upon this place so i saw on instagram is that tiny little white building right there so it's called beignets and brew they have coffee and like fresh beignets and we had no idea that it was like on the water and we could walk all the way out here this makes the uh this makes like the little harbor and marina or whatever you want to call it in, in Merle's Inlet yeah. look like nothing. Yeah, I mean, well, of course, <laughs> this is much lar like a larger place, but like, this, this is, is crazy. This is where some boating and fishing action goes down. Yeah, and it's so cool to see Dolphin all the boats. Cruise. We should do one <laughs> <laughs> again. highly highly recommend beignets and brew because those beignets were incredible we got this like buttercream sauce and then a chocolate sauce they were delicious and Bunky and I always go to Huey's in Savannah to get the beignets we almost think these are better oh I, I they are better do. yeah they were just little bites of fried donut bread that were just little pillow pockets of 
just delicious. Goodness gracious, they were good. And they gave us probably, there was like a cup of powdered sugar. A cup. Those things. So they don't skip on that. They don't skip. Y'all, they were delicious. If you're in this area, go there. Everyone said try the donut hole, which we probably still will try, but I don't even see how they could be better than what we just had. And the line at Donut Hole though, there was probably like 20 people lined up. So. Yeah, and we came right here, there's not a single person. If I understand correctly, this place has only been open like a couple of weeks, and so I think like not a lot of people know about it yet, but I'm here to spread the word. <laughs> it was amazing. So this is like the area where if you rent a boat here or you have like a dolphin excursion or any type of like boat tour, I'm pretty sure this is like where you would come get on. Also, a lot of people recommended a place called Beauchamp's, right? Yep. Yeah, Beauchamp's. And it's also right here in this area. Huey Huey, I think, is the other one. It's in this area, so there's That's lots Louie, of- Louie Louie. Oh, Louie Louie. Okay, so this morning started out beautiful, but it actually turned really cloudy this afternoon. Bunny and I had to get like a bunch of work done today, which honestly ended up being great because it started raining. And if I'm gonna have to be like inside working when we're in Destin, I'd rather it be like a rainy day. The temptation to be outdoors was not there. Yeah, and normally we're like, we gotta hurry and get this work done so we can get outside. So anyways, it worked out perfect. But got some work done, did not get to get onto the beach, but we are gonna go eat at this place called McGuire's. And I asked on Instagram, like, what's y'all's recommendations? Where should we eat? This was the number one most recommended place by far. I'm talking hundreds and hundreds of people. And it wasn't just like, go to McGuire's. It was like, you must go there. If you don't, you are crazy. It's the best I've ever had. My favorite restaurant of all times. It is like, you have to go. So that's where we're going tonight. We're very excited. We're going to bring you guys along. It's supposed to be just like the best food at an Irish pub. So McGuire's did not disappoint, but we actually found a few restaurants that we like better and we'll share those in next week's video. I think our eyes were bigger than our stomachs. The appetizers alone will feed like 10 people. So if you're going, just know that you can totally share. Bunky loved the Reuben egg rolls and then he got this like mushroom steak pie. He said it was so good. I got a steak and baked potato that was delicious. It was cooked perfectly. We definitely recommend trying out McGuire's. It's a really fun environment. They have a beautiful view and look Look at this sunset that we got to see while eating dinner. <laughs> nah, I just kidding. <laughs> I shouldn't play like that because the day will come. It will happen. I have gently bumped my head on this stuff a couple of times, but nothing crazy. Nothing too bad yet. No, no, uh, Gushes, yeah, gashes, no, no wounds yet. Meanwhile, I fit perfectly underneath this. I still have a little bit of space here. Yeah, even with your hat even on. Even my hat on. So we're about to venture out and actually go get one of our propane tanks filled up. This one ran out on us a couple of weeks ago, probably. Yeah. And we flipped over to the other one. Um, but I want to go ahead and get this one filled up before the other one runs out so that we don't run out of hot water, you know? Monkey is feeling like the other one is like nearing the end yeah i haven't even showed y'all our campsite yet we are like covered in palm trees which is awesome and it's kind of like secluded over here so we have like this little barrier of um bushes and then these palm trees which actually create a little bit of shade which is nice and then we have this like paved area and we got a plant a rug we're gonna like set up our patio really cute we even got some like string lights and then these guys left yesterday, but you can see it's a good amount of space in between each site. It's been like cloudy here yesterday and today, and we are hoping for some sunshine. Tomorrow and Saturday are supposed to be beautiful, actually for the next like seven days. But it is windy and cloudy today, so we're gonna go like run all of our errands and do kind of like the not fun stuff so that while it's sunny, we can really enjoy it. Do you see this view? It's unbelievable. Th this is great. Y'all, look at this view. Unbelievable. It is so beautiful.
Today is the day that I have been looking the most forward to since we got here because every time I look at like the 38 area, I just want to go to Seaside because this is where like the little like food truck area is. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, we're gonna show you. But they have all of these airstreams that are actually food trucks, and you can like walk around. There's like all kinds of shopping, and it is just so beautiful. So I am like giddy. I'm so excited. I think I actually might cry. I have been like dreaming about seeing this for so long, and like. It is beautiful. Ah! <laughs> I'm so excited. This is pretty neat. Funky. Thinking, uh, oh what? my goodness. Uh, These are. This is someone's home. Look at how beautiful that is. Wow. Okay, we are in Seaside. It's just like all so pretty. Look at all the colors of the houses. I'm actually, I'm actually crying. Like we have to find a, like a parking space. Oh, there's a, there's a big P sign for parking. Y'all, like legit tears. It is so, so cute. This is amazing. This is amazing. We got kind of turned around. <laughs> now we're like going down this like dirt road. Hey, it's cool to see this. It's I, so cool. I like that. That's, not That's a huge house. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at the, uh, we got the indoor pool. Wow. This is amazing. I feel like there might just be an alligator run out of the woods on us. <laughs> I think this is putting us back on the main road. We just did a little U-turn. Yeah. I love the vegetation. Florida. Me too. It's really cool. It's just, uh, it's so. It looks like a jungle almost. Yeah. We're packing up the truck and headed to our next location. But this has been a great little campsite. We've loved it. Very secluded, great palm trees. Yeah, it was like we had our own little private area with the truck having to be back then right here. Yeah. And then we had just all of this. And I love the... Uh, the pavers. Yeah. It's been really nice. This is like a really cute campground. I'll tell you guys more about it. Um, but let me kind of show you. So... This is like the main road. And if you just walk to the end of it, it dead ends at the ocean. So we just walked right over there. There's a pool up there. And then there's also another pool back this way. But it's been a great little campground. Well, we made it to our next campground. Yes, we And did. we like this one a lot. We actually <laughs> like it better. Funky is washing Dolly. She oh. was dirty and she needed a bath. <laughs> you should see. Oh wait, I already did this side. I was gonna say, if you had seen what it was like before. It was bad. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, come, come, you can come here, look. Maybe you can see it. I missed a little spot. Can you see that? Oh, I can. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I can tell. <laughs> so like, wow. that's what she looks like before and worse, even lower. We got this little, like, what do you call it? It's a little pressure washer? It's a little electric pressure washer. Yeah, and do you love it? I love it because what I was afraid of is that it was going to, we don't have an electric pressure washer, so I didn't know that it only actually like makes noise when you're squeezing the, the trigger. Uh huh. So like it's, it's absolutely quiet unless you're, you know, spraying or something. I was inside and I could not even hear it at all. Oh, well that's good because I was so nervous that it was going to be loud 
and I was like, man, I hope I'm not bothering anybody, but. No, I could not hear it. Um, and it makes the whole process just like a little bit faster. Yeah. I mean, um, you should spray off the front cap. Yeah, I'll probably, I may actually back the truck up to it. Yeah. Put the tailgate down. Oh, that's that smart. Way I can stand up there and kind of wash it because I don't have one of the brushes with me. Yeah. But yeah, we're getting it done. I'm trying to trying to keep it clean around here getting dolly looking good while you're looking good getting yeah. a tan I'll get myself looking good here in a little bit in the shower because <laughs> i am sweating there was a big gray heron or egret i don't know exactly what they're called um over here just a second ago i tried to get some footage of it but it didn't work out so well but i do want to show y'all one thing here which i think is so cool um is all of these cattails. <laughs> I've been wondering too all this time if I was gonna see a big snake of some sort in here. Haven't really seen any wildlife other than um, there's been like a white heron or egret or whatever that might be called and that blue one and then um, at nighttime there are these frogs that just say hey to each other back and forth all the way up and down this thing we'll have to see if we can maybe get a little audio of that for y'all because it is wild hearing those things talk to each other okay so we finally made it to rosemary and i am beside myself it is even more beautiful than like what I could envision. And I have waited years to see this area. It is just stunning. Everything is like white and teal and there's palm trees everywhere. It is amazing. Okay, so I saw this coffee shop. It's called the Fonville Press. It's like a little marketplace. I'm pretty sure they have like all kinds of baked goods and coffee and kind of like specialty food items. Hopefully a good sandwich. Yes, it looks so cute. So we're going in there now. Here we are, people, <laughs> in Alice Beach, Florida, where they have green beans growing from the trees. <laughs> but I'm loving the vegetation, the, vari the varieties here. I know we said that a couple days ago when we were driving down that one little back road that we kind of got lost on. Yeah. Um, but it's just so neat. I love Florida vegetation. Me I think too. it's so cool. Have y'all ever seen a more beautiful picturesque place ever these are people's homes i feel like this kind of um it's so charming well it looks it it's it's like like this right here feels like charleston but it's not it, it it's like a more elevated charleston. spanish florida version of charleston yeah like it's really neat I feel like I'm not fancy enough <laughs> to be here because I'm like, hopefully I'm even pronouncing this place right. But we got coffee at the Fonville and it was really good. Bunky got a chai tea latte. Mm -hmm. I got my regular like cold brew. Delicious. It was so beautiful and cute in there. And now we're going to go down to the Pearl because, you know, the Pearl is like where everyone goes. It is apparently the spot and it's supposed to be so beautiful and have a great view. So we're going to head down there now. And they have the Havana it's like it's like Havana Cuban vibes. Yeah, and Bunky's so ready for a Cuban. <laughs> I'm gonna get myself, hopefully, what is one of the best Cuban sandwiches I've ever had. I think I might get one too, though. We can't get the same thing, Bunk. We gotta, we gotta, one of us get one thing, one of us get another. That's right. We gotta explore as much All options. Our options. <laughs> okay, another um, recommendation. As you know, we're in the state of Florida, and you can see behind me, right here. You see that? Uh-huh. The windshield shade. <laughs> That's a serious thing. This I is Bunky's like, travel agent day. I feel like he's taking you guys around as like your tour guide. I, I feel like that probably helps so much around here. 
Um, but if you're not from here, you just don't know. You just don't know. So. I just can't get over the architecture, anyway. okay? Look at look at the detail in here. Let me just show you. I love this, by the way. You love it? Yeah. Oh, I, me too. I mean. It's spectacular. I, I don't even want to touch it because I'm afraid I'm going to break it, but. Look at the detail up here. The ceiling, oh, the gas lantern, yeah. the doors, everything, the tile. It's like a little pergola. Yes. Off of the bay window. Okay, so I think that this is actually. Look at the top of that. I don't know. Can y'all tell we're excited? I think this is actually a public pool. So if you're staying in Rosemary, you get kind of like a little pass or a code. And anyone that's staying here can come and use this pool. And it's super nice and just really beautiful. Well, you might be selling the house in Merle. <laughs> I'm going to convince you to live here. I don't know. I might would. It's amazing. So we went and had lunch at the Pearl and we got these like Fiesta fries. Fiesta fries. It had like pulled pork and pico and pickled onions, which we got on the side for Funky. And there was like this cilantro crema on there. They were so, so good. And the view was like amazing. So now we are going to just like walk around here. There's like lots of little um, shops and stuff. So I want to like pop into a few of those. And then I think we're going to head back and have. A beach day is that what you want to do yeah it, sounds good the like water looks so pretty from where we were sitting at the pearl i was like monkey i kind of want to go in there and get in the water so i think we're gonna go back here in a little bit and get onto the ocean okay well i'm currently sitting underneath the towel we wanted to come out to the beach after we left rosemary and we knew that there was like a chance of rain well as soon as we planted our tushes in our seat it started raining but we are holding out because there is sunshine right over there it's actually really pretty but Currently, we are getting poured down rain on. The monkey is not minding it one bit. I'd say it's more of a drizzle. Drizzle? It's starting to pour, B. Okay, it's kind of raining a little hard now. <laughs> but it's going to pass. And how magical is it to see this sun? And look at this cliff. Yeah. There's like this big cliff right there. I mean... And the sun's over there. Magical. Yeah pretty awesome. Well, he said we are sitting in the Gulf of Mexico, feet in the sand. In the rain. With the sun shining. On a, on a cliff. I hope y'all can tell. It's like actually a cliff. B? Yeah. It's really starting to rain. It's, it's going to go away in like two minutes. Don't worry. Actually, it looks really, it looks really bad down there. Actually. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's coming right towards us. Huh. I think we gotta go. You think? Monkey, you can't even see down there. It's ran so hard. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta oh, go. We, we gotta, gotta go. We can't. Oh my gosh, look out there. Monkey, we gotta go now. <laughs> 